Yo, what is going on guys? It's Vader for Gaming back here for another Bane video and today I did this series last year, AFL Trade Rumors. I actually did pretty well and I'm really interested in making those videos. So I'm gonna do it again this year. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how the Swans are showing interests in key forwards like Jesse Hogan and Ruckman like Tom Hickey. So without further ado, let's begin. So it looks like the Swans are into some key big forwards like Jesse Hogan. Unfortunately, I don't think we can get Jeremy Cameron now that he's looks like he's going to Geelong and Joe Danaher looks like is going to Brisbane. But it looks like the Swans are into Jesse Hogan. Now Fremantle have not made up their mind whether they actually want him to stay or whether they want him to leave. We did have a COVID branch not long ago and the club was fined $8,000 which was really really bad but the Swans are interested in him and I actually don't mind him as a player I reckon he's obviously been hurt by injury the last couple of years but I actually reckon it could be a really really good trade if we can get a key big tall forward as we're overdue for one we only have really Buddy and Reed in the forward line that are big and tall so yeah he'll be really good and hopefully he's not injured and hopefully we can actually get him because that'll be a really good inclusion to our side if he's not injured. The second player that the Swans have shown interest in is actually a Ruckman, which is Tom Hickey from West Coast. No, I never actually really liked him as a Ruckman. I don't really rate him, but I still reckon he is a good player. Now, the thing is with the Swans Ruckman, Naismith, who was our best Ruckman, is always injured. He's done his knee several times, I think, from 2016, which is a really bad curse. And he's actually a really underrated Ruckman, so I really like Sam Naismith. And hopefully he can fix his injury and get back next year. But anyway, we have actually been interested in Tom Hickey along with Hawthorne. I do actually reckon a Ruckman wouldn't be that bad for the side as we probably actually need a Ruckman if Nace was going to keep getting injured. Because Sinclair isn't really a tap Ruckman. He's more of a body one and he'll always provide a good contest. But we need one that's a good tap to our midfields to win easy center clearances instead of really battling for them. We haven't just been particularly into him, we've been into many Ruckmen from many teams. I'm not going to name them all, but we have been into many Ruckmen, so it seems like the Swans are very desperate to get a built-in Ruckman who already knows what he's doing. So who knows what the Swans are going to do, but I'm sure they'll get a Ruckman as there are many that we could possibly get, including I think there was a couple from Port Adelaide as well. Please feel free to comment down below your thoughts on the two trades that could be happening, Jesse Hogan and Tom Mickey. I definitely think the Swans are into a key forward and a Ruckman, which would be very good to get a key forward and a Ruckman. It will just change the whole side and we could play 10 times better and we could even possibly push for finals next year, especially if we get a key forward that's in the side every week and a dominant Ruckman who wins the clearances every week. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll definitely make more videos like this one for the future coming up. But anyway guys, I'll see you next time.